I was smashed over the back of the head. Before I could even turn around and look who it was, I'd then been hit another two times really, really hard, to the point where I heard the blood hit the car next to me. I remember his eyes, his build, his eyes, they were evil. Whoever it was wanted to kill me. They basically made a complete like, joke of it. Um, I asked them, could they go and investigate the crime scene? Why are they still here, laughing about their weekend or weekend to come? Um, and they turned around and blatantly said in front of me and my mum, we're not CSI, Hastings, police haven't got that much money. There's a duty on police to do two things. One of those is to go and speak to Levi Belfield, who's admitting them, and see what he has to say and see if there's any truth in his admissions. But secondly, and in my view, more importantly, is to go back to those survivors, back to the victims, and tell them what you're doing and offer them the support and help so that they can continue to live their lives in the light of what they now know. Probably if the police had given me people to identify and he was in it, I would have told them straight away there and then that was the person that attacked me. What about all the other people that have been attacked and the police haven't bothered to look into it or just treat them as a joke like they have done me? Virtually all of those offences, if not indeed all of those offences, can arguably be put down to Levi Belfield. He's just the most dangerous person I ever came across. If the police had done something about it, then all the girls that he's killed, all the girls that he's killed after me, we still here as well. I think I'm quite good. <laughs> <laughs>